I believe we reach peak innovation when it comes to smartphones um, probably five years ago. What do I call peak innovation? I mean that the revolution that was the smartphone, I was there. I remember uh, back when I was using a, a, a smart, a, a Palm, Palm Trio or a Windows mobile phone or BlackBerry. And then 2007, I remember when Steve Jobs introduced the iPhone and then the App Store and how it changed the world. And then every iPhone was another innovation because on the first iteration, you don't have the, 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 you don't have the technology and sometimes the time to create everything you need. So every iPhone, the camera was better and better. Every iPhone, it went from 2G to 3G to 3.5G to 4G, et cetera, et cetera. Like, and then the screens got bigger and then, 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 then you had the Android competition. But what I mean is that for the first 10 years, every year, there was a reason to get a new phone. And I bought iPhones every year until probably 2017, the first 10 years. I got every single iPhone because everyone really pushed in the envelope way more. And then we reached the normal thing where it just becomes a commodity because everybody has one, first of all. And these, machine, these machines are so powerful that it's not that every year it's not a better machine. It's just that the investment that you do to get the better one or the new one every year stopped making sense around 2017 or maybe before. And more, most people now, they keep their phones for four years, five years, and which is normal. And I, be, I believe that uh, smartphones now became uh, the same thing as uh, televisions. What up, Jires? I believe they they believe they became just like televisions. Uh, I love buying new TVs, but I don't need to buy new TVs every year. So I usually take the best I can, like the one I just bought now here uh, for the new office, 75, all the bells and whistle. And unless there's a problem, I'm not going to buy another one to replace this one for the next probably eight to 10 years because the 75 inch, it's huge. So when I move to the next house, I'll move with it. Just like I move with the other TVs from the old house. I just bought new ones for the living room. I bought an 85 inch and for my office, I bought a 75 inch, but the kid's bedroom is the same and my bedroom is the same. Uh, but I might change them because I had them for 11 years, the other two. But this TV has everything, Wi-Fi, whatever, smart TV, et cetera, et cetera. You don't even need to, to have cable. As long as you have internet, you can just watch YouTube, Netflix, and et cetera. Straight from the TV, everything is inside. You don't even need an Apple TV, all that stuff. And I believe that, and once you reach peak, these people to try to sell you the next one, they, yeah, listen, it's like TV. Oh, we have OLED. Oh, the blacks are blacker. Yeah, every year the blacks are blacker. Oh, yeah, the, the, this thing goes faster. Yeah, of course, every year it goes faster. Oh, uh, we have 3D. Nobody cares about 3D. Oh, the, 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 the TV is thinner and thinner. The phones are thinner and thinner. This is when you just reach peak. And it's, there's nothing bad about it. It's just like a car. In the beginning, probably there was a lot of innovation made and at a point innovation slows because you reach the moment where it's time to look elsewhere for innovation. It's completely normal. And I believe that uh, uh, we arrived there. And in reality, for a normal person, a 200 Oppo phone will do the same thing as a 1,500 iPhone Pro. Because most people, all they need is to 
go online, uh, play, um, be able to go on Instagram, uh, be able to go on Twitter, be able to go on YouTube and then on WhatsApp and take phone calls from time to time. In reality, all phones that come out from every year from 100 euros till 2000, they all do the same thing. Now, some people like me are, I'm filming my shows on my phone, so I always have a reason to have the best cameras, the best phone, the best, etc. So I would do the investment, but I'm, I'm, now I'm gonna do it only every three years. Which take us to um, yesterday's announcement from Apple. I'm monetizing. I still have the same phone since, since 2019. Yeah, me, um, I had the iPhone 10. Then I moved to the 13. So after, so there was a 10, 10s. And then it was 11, I guess, 11, 12. Yeah, I, I kept my phone for a long time. Then I got the 13. That's what I have now. I skipped the 14. I offered one to my wife. No, she bought it herself. She bought herself the 14. And uh, and now there's the 15. So I'm probably going to buy one for my wife. Uh, and I'm yeah, I might buy myself the 15, but I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to buy it um, just because of USB-C. And I said to me, there's something I said, I said, I'm not buying new phones until it becomes USB-C because better, uh, same cable for everything. That's going to be simpler for me, especially when I travel. Uh, I'm going to be able to charge with my USB-C, my phone, my computer, my iPad. That's going to be amazing. Uh, and uh, I would even say, I also say, uh, uh, yeah, always happy to have a better camera so I can whenever I film the shows and whenever I do photos because I now film my vlogs on my phone so it's a it's a work it's a work tool for me so uh, it's an investment that I can do and it's it's worth it for me my wife she really doesn't need a new phone in reality but listen if we sell the the the, the, the 14 if if we can get I don't know 600 700 from it, I, uh, yeah, I can offer this to her. I, uh, it's all good. Um, I would buy a camera separately and buy a cheap phone instead of buying a phone because of the image quality of the camera. Listen, I have two cameras. You don't see them. I have a G85 that is there. Here I have a G85 and here I have a GH4 and I use them to shoot music videos and I used to use them to shoot professional photos and to film the vlogs. And you know what they do? They sit here now. They became decoration piece, you know what? Because my iPhone 13, once I edit the photos, they look so good that I don't really need uh, to give you an example of a photo, uh, let me, for example, uh, let me see if I can find a photo that I shot. Oh, it's been a long time. I didn't, uh, I mean, any photo that I take, if, if we take, uh, once you edit your photos and you're good at taking photos. Okay. This photo is too much edited, right? But imagine this photo has been taken with an iPhone 13 at night. Yes, I did a lot of edition, but that's what I do on anything anyway. So it comes to a point where, listen, uh, you really need to have a good reason to buy uh, a professional camera. I buy professional camera, for example, for live streams like this camera. Uh, but in reality, the camera that I have on my phone, when I need to film something for the vlog, it's so much easier. Look, 
uh, I used to bring a, my big camera in every show so I could have somebody film. And my latest show, let me, uh, the link is on my YouTube channel. My latest show, yeah, shot completely on, on my iPhone 13 and the quality is crazy. So now imagine if you have the latest iPhone with the best camera, good sound, etc. You, you film in the cinema mode, uh, your shows and your vlogs, great stabilization, etc. These machines are so powerful. I love using uh, a, a real camera, if I can say, uh, a DSLR, because of the yeah, you know, there's the it's, it's a certain quality and it's stuff that is not computer generated. But the difference is starting to, especially when you know that ninety percent of the people they watch everything you do on the phone. <sighs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's starting to. Um, unless you are really shooting music videos uh, and professional, professional work, listen, for vlogging and, uh, and stuff like that. Now, for live streaming, no. Why money is leaving my account? Yeah, for live streaming, no. I'm still Sony, Sony Alpha. Actually, my next big investment when it comes to camera is going to be to get a new camera for the show and i'm gonna go full frame with sony so right now i'm on, a, on a AP, aps-c sensor sony a6400 uh with a forgot the lens i'm gonna probably go to um a7c and go with a full frame lens that and listen for live streaming it might not even really change anything there's just it's just like geeks geek stuff but uh when it comes to phones i believe that you can keep now phones every five four to five years and i think apple knows it too most of these companies they know it that's why they the way they promote their machines is they when they when they do a new iphone they don't do it for the person who bought it last year and that's why everybody's like, yeah, it didn't really change. They just changed the colors. Yeah, because they don't really need to. They really change, change, change stuff every four or five years. Because they know that the people who bought five years ago, it's like a rolling thing now. If you bought in 2010, you're going to buy in 2015. If you bought, and then you're going to buy in 2020. But the ones they, 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 they announced yesterday is more for those who bought four years ago and who are ready to switch or yeah people who who can afford to just go from phone to phone but in reality and, and if you see now they tell you hey listen you can bring the old ones so we can recycle them or resell them and we'll give you some money or we, or we remove that money from the new one because yeah it's becoming commodities and listen soon the day the day they can invent something like a like a battery that stays on for like four days and uh that doesn't uh die slowly in two three years of charging and, and decharging de there's gonna be no reason to change phones people will keep their phones for 10 years uh like back in the days so um yeah it's, it's very interesting um, Dantana, what up, bro? I'm not getting the 15 because I have a lot of lightning cables already and I would have to stop buying USB-C cables. I'm good. Actually, me, that's the reason why I'm going to the new one because I actually want to throw away all the the USB, uh, the lightning cables and start uh, being full USB-C in the house. So... But again, I'm, I'm a geek. Platin Pereira watching from Portugal. It's 9.33 p.m. Yo, bless up. Yeah, the cameras are crazy. Yo, Annabella. Yeah, more for video production and, and blog, lives, etc. 
actually uh, I started doing some some TikTok videos and some short videos directly from this camera and yeah the quality is nice so I'm gonna start doing shooting some sh short 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 videos directly from these phone this camera but at the same time you know being able to take your phone out and, and, and shoot content with a phone is crazy now what I'm waiting for is that Instagram give me the possibility to go live from the computer in Instagram using this camera. That's when it's going to go cr cr crazy. But listen, uh, yesterday's iPhone. Uh, all right. In platinum. So you see, once you have no more like reasons to have people buy these things, that's what you start doing. You start telling them that uh, noble materials, etc. I understand. Uh, it's it's the business. Like you have to sell. I mean, and, and you have people ready to buy it. So I'm really more interested in about, about USB C and the new camera. But really, actually, as I'm thinking about it, the iPhone 15 might even. I mean, because the iPhone 15, the 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 iPhone 15 Pro other than the titanium that I don't really care and um, faster speed from the, the lightning cable uh, and the third lens. Eh, listen, well, I was talking to the my wife and, and she was telling me, yo, I think I'd rather get the, the normal 15 this time because the size of the screen is the same. The processor inside is different. The, 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 the Pro has the A17, the 15 has the A16. Uh, so for my wife, she will not see a difference if I take this pink one for her. She's really, yeah, she, she was more into the color. She's like, nah, I want this one. Uh, for me, because I do a lot of, I mean, nah. That's not true. I don't really edit videos on my phone. I do them on Final Cut on my computer. Uh, I don't. I don't need a fast data data cable uh, from the Lightning uh, because I I usually let my my everything update directly on my phone through iCloud. So every video I take. So let me show you. Whenever I take videos they appear automatically on my phone. So when I want to do my vlogs, I just go here on the video tab and all the videos are shot are here. And all I have to do is just select a few of them and then send them to Final Cut and I'm ready to, to edit my vlogs. I don't really edit vlogs on the phone. If I was editing them on the phone, maybe, or maybe on, um, on Final Cut for iPad, but I don't really do that. I, I like editing on my computer. Um, but even, even there, like these machines are so powerful that, I mean, I might just take the pro just because I can, but in reality, the 15 is enough. Uh, let me see what the pro has that are, okay. Titanium. I could not care less. Uh, yeah, okay, the A16 Pro, yes. What else? Titanium, well, okay. What else? Uh, optical zoom, I don't care. Action button, not really. <laughs> uh, the colors, A monster for gaming. I don't game. Pro class CPU. Yeah, I might take that. Just listen. If they did the thing they do for the iPhone or that they do for the the Samsung does that for their phones and I Apple does that for their uh, iPads, where if you have a USB C cable, you can plug your phone to a, a real screen 
and you can use it as a computer to to do some work when you just have your phone for example if you could do that only with the pro yeah i would say yes uh but uh yeah listen it's a great camera the zoom is amazing etc but all this you can do it with the other one too the action button i don't care the fast speed of sending data yes but to me that would be great if like i said if you could just use your phone listen it's the same ship in both these computers if i could use my phone as a computer from time to time not i'm not saying saying to replace my 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 little macbook air i'm saying yeah listen i'm in a hotel i just put the cable can plug to the tv and i can just use it like you do with the ipad it's the same chip in all of them it's the same chip so it should be able to do it so listen i have the iphone I have the iPad and I have the MacBook Air. So I don't really need that. I'm just saying. Uh, okay, bad battery life, Wi Fi, da 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 da. 29 hours of playback, whatever. Listen, it is not really <laughs> different. If I look at the iPhone 15, uh, yeah, Dynamic Island, uh, great camera as well. You cannot do 5X, but you can do 2X. That's more than enough. I can come closer to the subject. Uh, what else? USB-C. Yeah, that's all I need. Uh, I might have to get some new AirPods as well. A pink one for the wife. And maybe a green one for me. Or a blue or black no six seven ah, all right dynamic island listen there's no real big big difference between both of them i might i might i don't know that this is a great thing you can take a picture and then you can turn it into a portrait after that's cool It's just, yeah, this one has the A16 and the other one has the A70. Listen. Uh, let me see the prices. Oh, I have to look at the Portuguese one because I'm not going to have the US, the US prices. Let me see. Um, just press push. All right, when is it available? All right. Pro Max from, I mean, for that price, let me see. If you choose a color, let's say natural titanium, I prefer the white one or the black one or the, yeah. All right, anyway, 1,007. Uh, how much is the other one? The normal one. Let me see. iPhone. Pro iPhone 15. Plus. Green. Uh, 1,005. So that's a 200 euro difference. I don't know. I might, I might go for the normal one. I don't know. I'll see. Cause what I do, I just sell the two we have probably will pay half of this price for both. I don't know, but there's no like 
for real unless unless you're a pro photographer or pro videographer there's no real reason to get the pro ones because the normal ones are so powerful anyway that's very interesting i'm telling you we are reaching peak technology uh i believe the real innovation from apple will not come from their ar glasses the vision pro for now they are huge but the day they arrive to this size and they can do everything it does it's over that's going to be the next the next revolution uh, in computing uh coming from apple or something else uh it's going to be like uh imagine somebody can do uh something that is like a my my wedding ring but that takes all your biometrics all the time know your position etc and you can use in correlation to your phone to like stuff like that i believe that's the next revolutions and whenever somebody can do glasses when you can have information imagine i'm doing my show and i have to look at notes most of the time when i want to remember what i want to talk about or any information about something if i'm talking about something serious imagine if i, I had all the information here yo that would be crazy but yeah we'll see